gentleman. You're right. Welcome back to the Alexander & Co. 551 Yard Street, best barbershop in the world. Listen, man, big week, mm. you, big week, the biggest since Kauai? Yes. Yeah, 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 I, I don't even think that's in question. That's with, without a doubt. Um, and, 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 you know, a big part of that is OG kind of grew here. But I, it's also one of the trades that right now, just based on first impressions, is working out for both teams. Yeah. I think OG is going to be in, you know, in a position where he could really flourish in, the, in using his strengths. <clears throat> his defense is going to be far more valuable with New York as opposed to, you know, when it was when this, this last year and a half with Toronto where they struggled scoring in, in modern day basketball, you know, your best defense is essentially a good offense. So this team needed a bit more, more offense from, from that sense. There's so much to take away from me as a Knicks fan. So I've been a Knicks fan since 1987, right? I don't know if that's a good thing. No, 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 no. dude, it has, well, you, it is you, a good thing. You've been on a roller coaster. No, we haven't. We've been at the, listen, the, the, the cart hasn't left. We haven't hit the top yet. The cart hasn't left. You have patience. So, but dude, I mean, listen, as a Nick, it hurts. So now, Dolan has actually stepped down on the board in November. Now, Leon Rose mm -hmm. and Steve Stout, shout out to Steve Stout, actually have more runway and to bring guys in. Now there's a trust there. Now guys want to come to New York, which is great. Now you add OG and you get rid of RJ and Quickly, which Quickly's a very good uh, leader of the second unit for us. Will be a great scorer for you guys as the starting point guard. So I'll, I'll interject there and I'll say, Similar to how you guys got Brunson, and I think that's similar to what quickly is gonna be for the Raptors. Right. Now he has a bit more leg room to play through his mistakes, and you know, he has the keys as well. We want you to flourish, we want you to, you know, reach your capacity and reach your ceiling. So I think he's gonna be more than just just a score. And we've even seen that with with RJ, how he's playing better, right? Um, yesterday he had 37 points. But a lot of those were, you know, drive, kicks, and he had all the time in the world yeah. to just knock down shots. So I actually think he's gonna be more than just a scoring guard right. uh, for us and what you guys see in, in New York, which is, you know, that's, it's gonna pay dividends for the Raptors. So my wife would tell me. Oh boy. Why would you brainwash your son <laughs> into liking this losing franchise? <laughs> you don't wanna see his wardrobe. It's blue and orange. All, all the way through. Everything, blue and orange, right? She's like, he's gonna go to school, he's gonna get ridiculed, they're gonna get on him. Now, the last three years, I don't hear anything. She's quiet. Mm -hmm. She's quiet, you know? Um, and honestly, I haven't seen this kind, of, uh, this kind of buzz in New York. Like, even when we got Randall, okay, they went and got him, but you know, there was still work to be done. We got Brunson, okay, now we have OG, and. I don't care who you are, people say, ah, the Knicks, Knicks. If you can be on a championship team for the New York Knicks, you're the guy. Yeah. You helped win, you're the guy. You brought New York Knicks basketball back to back. prominence. If New York Knicks basketball is, is, is at a high level, it's good for the NBA, period, right? Period. Now- Is it good for you or is it good for the NBA? It's good for the NBA, <laughs> right? Adam Silver, admitted Knicks fan, even David Stern. Guys are from New York, admitted Nick fans, you know? It's good, it's good for, for the NBA, right? Listen, quick fast, we gotta switch. Haven't seen you since before Christmas. Yes, sir. IST, in-season tournament. Lakers win. They're popping champagne in December. As they should. Which I got. As they should, but continue. I got they, a they huge won. problem with that. They won, but if, let's, let's if go. If Kobe Bryant is playing with the Lakers today and they win the in-season tournament. They're popping champagne. Absolutely not. They're Anyways. popping champagne. And then they raise a flag, not a banner, Flag. Shaq called it a flag, flag. <laughs> right? A flag. Listen, oh, that's what flag. the Diesel said. Now the Lakers go and reel off a They're stretch struggling. of losses. They're struggling, yeah, yeah. You know? But that, that's the beauty in the in-season tournament, though. I think we're, we, sometimes we're overlooking this thing. You get to a point where it's one game disqualification. Yeah. Right? One game, excuse me, one game elimination. Mm. And that, I think it's impressive the win? It's still impressive. Why it's impressive is because I think we saw what LeBron did. Like he morphed back into the king 
for that, that stretch for them to come out with, you know, land that, that championship there. It's different. It's going to be a completely different case when you have to win a seven game series. But for against the best against against the best, not against the Spurs, right? Not against Portland. Listen, that it doesn't matter because well, of got course to a point, it matters. You got to a point in the in season tournament where you are playing the best teams at that time. At that no, point. but everybody's it's, in. You don't so, lose so the first round. The best team but at the that first, point, they were the, the best first, teams. But the first round, you're playing the Mother Teresa Titans. Every everybody played round robin. Everybody was playing round robin. Right? And in the playoffs, you don't. Know. And at the same token, they had to get the job done, and, and they did. We can't. We can't take away the fact that they won, right? It's not going to, it's not the, the Larry OB. Yeah. But they, they still took care of business when they needed to. Why didn't the other teams? Control issues. I already feel where this is going. I already Control know issues. Your team, Golden State, you've been talking about these guys for the last two years. Yeah. GS. Yeah. We see the decline. So couldn't you? No, couldn't no, no, you, no, 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 no. Couldn't you just ask me about Golden State instead of you know, digging me a deeper hole and saying this is But I have team. to, because you're going to give me that ESPN no, just, philosophical just, answer. No, 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 no. Listen, you I don't just, want that just introspective just answer. Honesty. This is the barbershop. <sighs> I don't want that introspective answer. This is the barbershop. This is stuff I got to deal with. You're damn right. So listen, Draymond Green. <laughs> Draymond's coming back. Yeah. Draymond's coming back. Where do you see Golden State going? <clears throat> so right now. Uh, yeah, get comfy. Right now, they're a complete tire fire. <laughs> complete tire fire. Yeah. And I, I, I didn't, I wouldn't have said this two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, but after watching them play the Raptors, there's a big value in Draymond Green, right? And I didn't think at the, you know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I didn't think so. But I, I see them now and he anchors so much for them. Right now, they don't have a voice on that court. But outside of that, I think Steve Kerr has to do a better job of actually coaching this team now. Right, you don't have, and I, I, I'm looking at your face, I know a lot of people don't want to hear it. He's accomplished a lot, you know, a heck of a player. And I think sometimes we get stuck on that. But the, those guys aren't playing, they're not in their prime anymore. You can't just toss the ball up and Steph Curry's gonna give you 40, Clay's gonna give you 30. They actually need, Draymond's not with the team, you know, half the time. They actually need you to coach each possession now. He doesn't have the personnel to just, when you sit back, you fold your arms and you, you watch the team rock. Real quick, does Golden State make the playoffs this year? Yes. yes. Golden State's in? Yeah. Play in or playoffs? They will be a play in team. They'll be a play in team. They'll be a play in team. When they get- January 8th, when they we get, got the receipts. When they get Draymond back, they will be a play in team. And, and I know your point, but every team needs a little crazy. Even think back to those Chicago Bulls teams. Dennis Rodman was a nutcase. Every team needs some crazy. But that, we're cutting in. We're leaving it. <laughs> we're out.